Hi, uh, thank you everyone for being with us at the One Startup World. We had three amazing uh, sessions this morning on sustainability and, and the criticality of climate uh, resistance and resilience. And now we are going to turn into something that is uh, uh, a little bit out of my league in one way, but so fascinating. Uh, and I'm very pleased to welcome Gabriele uh, Vedani, who is going to introduce us um, uh, X plus, and more importantly, uh, the growing phenomena of NFT in the celebrity and the sport world, I think, uh, if I'm not wrong, and what does it mean to actually uh, own a piece of those NFT as, as, as the, the world grow into uh, this amazing digitalization. So with uh, no further ado, Gabriel, please, uh, the floor is, is yours, and uh, very exciting to hear your story. Thanks. Thank you very much, Stefan, for the introduction. You've been too kind to me. And uh, yeah, basically what we do at uh, X Plus, uh, we are uh, designing and, uh, you know, um, shaping tailor-made um, projects in order to bring people. And we are focusing on uh, three different categories of sport related, uh, uh, I would say, customers. Uh, into the Web3 area. So basically, we we started from uh, uh, Grand Sports and Federation, and uh, we, we are talking to international uh, federations like World Aquatics, which, which is uh, the former FINA, uh, the International Swimming uh, Federation. And we have very good uh, relationships with uh, both the ATP and the Italian Tennis Federation and the Sport and Salute, which is basically uh, a federation which has, stays over all of the sports federations in Italy as to what concerns uh, the well-being aspect of, uh, of sports. Uh, we also deal with high-profile sports ambassadors Later, I will show you on our website. We have picked some, uh, you know, uh, very high level uh, sports professionals, and uh, we are helping them um, interact with their fan base in a new way, and uh, you know, creating a more a more vivid community, uh, young with a younger way of entertainment. And uh, the, the, the third um, kind, and here is a, a small video. Uh, I will be silent for a bit that we prepare for street skateboarding in Rome. And basically, it's just over. And uh, it's about events. So we take care of uh, sport events and uh, we have them you know, build them, activations, and new wear, way of entertaining the fan base uh, uh, in order to, to make them closer to the event. Um, what is important to say, how we do that? We have two big pillars uh, and uh, behind us. And one is technology, and this is represented by VeChain. VeChain is probably well known to everybody is a high scalable blockchain infrastructure is one of the most renowned all over the world and what we like at vchain is that they focus on sustainability you were talking about sustainability just uh, in the introduction and they always focus focus on the low carbon footprint so that's what i like and they are our uh, shareholders they invested in x plus and they basically are our engine for technology. And the other pillar we are relying on is uh, DAO. DAO is the biggest and most important um, Italian uh, agency in order to manage sports rights. And this is uh, about uh, imagine rights, prize money for both uh, high level athletes, federations, Big corporations, they basically advise big corporations on how to market in the sports area. And uh, last, they also speak to big events like, uh, you know, um, the ATP finance in Turin and so on and so forth. 
So in a nutshell, this is what we do. And maybe later we, we can go a little bit more in detail to how we do and what we do. And uh, just a, a brief, you know, a flash on the financials of uh, X Plus, which is uh, a startup. But uh, as my gray hair, you know, testify, we are not, you know, the, the usual startup are very young, a little bit nerd, even though we are in, in the technology space. Uh, we thought of uh, X Plus, as, as you can see, as you have seen by um, President's slide, uh, on very solid uh, basis and fundamentals. And what we did from the beginning is, is to take care about the financial stability of the company. So we went through two uh, rows of capital increase and one took place last year and one we just uh, formalized. And uh, as you can see, the, 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 the capital value, the, the company value was growing over time. And we are now uh, with enough capital to, to go on for at least one year from now. So that's what we focus on. Of course, we are making you know, the, the, the worst pos possible uh, solution with uh, uh, not, not considering the, the revenues we, we, are, we are incoming. So that's in a nutshell what we do. And uh, well, uh, in details, uh, we, as, as I mentioned, we have three different uh, kind of uh, uh, customers that we target. Uh, as to what concerns the Federation, uh, we normally have them uh, um, build some Web3 experiences, like uh, for instance, uh, for the, and, if you don't mind, I would uh, uh, launch a small video and I will speak over that, so it's more entertaining. Yeah, yeah, and, no, please uh, do it. I have, I have one or two questions, but please. Send yes, please do. No, no, share the video first. I think it it might okay. uh, shed some light. So please go ahead. Sure. Okay. The first image you're taking is about uh, an, an activation that we made for the ATP tournament in Rome. And basically, we made two things for the Italian Federation. The first one, and it is the, has been the first uh, experience where the winners of the trophy, which were Sabalenka and Medvedev for the male, they were presented with a trophy which was digital. So not only the cup, but the cup and also and uh, digital uh, uh, soul that we made by inputting on, on the cup, on the basis of the cup and NFC chip. That means that uh, the winner, and this is the, the paper we provided to them, has uh, a proof that the, uh, and there's an NFT, a unique NFT that proves that that uh, tournament has been won by them in, on that precious date, on that time and, uh, uh, you know, second. And uh, in the meantime, we were entertaining uh, the audience uh, by an activation. We had 10,000 people, 10,000 tennis fans who were downloading uh, very easily, with it, very straightforward, uh, an NFT, which was a racket, basically, uh, which was, uh, you know, a participation uh, to the uh, tournament, also proof of participation, but also they could, you know, win prizes like uh, digital, digitalized ads or um, tickets. This is Gigi Datome, and I think that uh, American people know him very well. Uh, he's, uh, you know, the captain of the Italian uh, basketball team and uh, he also played uh, for several years in the NBA and uh, well uh, what he did uh, or what we did with him uh, he, he launched this book which is called the giant of the the, the camp and uh, as you can see by his finger pointing we visualize uh, some copies of the book so that the book is connected to uh, some uh, uh, media, uh, for instance, we are showing the video where he says why he wanted to write this book and how it works. 
And same, we, we did digitalizing some memorabilia from him. And that's the same for other ambassadors. In this case, is a jersey that he wore during uh, the, the last uh, Euroleague Cup. And uh, again, uh, you are linked to an NFT, which says that this particular memorabilia is not only true, is been, has been worn by Gigi and signed by Gigi, but it's also yours. And you can transfer the property of the memorabilia by simply transferring the NFT, which is, makes things easy and straightforward. The same principle can apply to any luxury goods, and uh, for instance, you're seeing here a very good uh, uh, Tignanello by Antinori, which is one of the most renowned Italian red wines uh, Tuscany from Tuscany. And again, by tapping on the NFC chip, you get to an um, authentication page where you find all the information about the bottle, how uh, it has been grown, the grapes, uh, and how uh, they have been collected and how the wine was produced. And you also have uh, uh, multimedia uh, files uh, connected, like uh, a picture of the grapes uh, or the geographical location. And again, uh, you have an NFT, which proves that that bottle is authentic and it's yours. And last, just to give you another example, is something that we recently made for the street skateboarding uh, world championships in Rome. And uh, again, we were activating the community. It's a community, as you can see, of very young people, very smart, you know, uh, addicted to um, technology. And we digitalize, as you can see by the NFC, uh, we digitalize the trophy, which were presented to the, the awesome athletes because seeing them live is really awesome. And that again was, uh, you know, uh, uh, first time ever. And you can see you, the authentication page. And uh, of course, again, the winner were presented with the original NFT proving that they were the winners in that specific day in Rome. So that's in a nutshell what we do. Uh, of course, this is, I hope, more entertaining than going through our website, which is basically like, uh, uh, you know, a marketplace where you can find items, uh, NFT experiences, and so on and so forth, uh, digital products linked to uh, something which is connected to our ambassador, our customers. Hey, Gabriele, I have to say the video was very instructive, very easy to understand and to follow, and as you said, entertaining, which is really important. You know, whilst we spoke between my questions and now I, I got a, a, a feedback from from the audience that just goes in the same direction. So first thing is that, you know, we all know that Italy is the world's, you know, sports, uh, you know, capital of the world, I would say. Uh, Italy has always been extremely uh, um, keen in everything related to sports all around, uh, extremely famous on that thing. And the mix between sports and celebrity, I mean, I'm not going to, to mention, the departure of some very important politicians lately. I mean, this is very important in, in your country for certain. Uh, one question that comes to my mind was that uh, NFT is a fantastic way to democratize the fan uh, 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 you know, uh, intimacy between me being a fan and being able to actually own something from my, my uh, uh, champion is a uh, is an amazing um, democratic uh, uh, aspect which has the potential to reach the whole planet around that so the question that the, the audience has is that how many um, fan do you have today in your nft platform oh well it, it's uh, uh, not an easy uh, question because basically to answer because basically we have different fan bases for the different, uh, uh, you know, activations or uh, um, uh, ambassador we are talking about. But uh, just to give you some numbers, uh, in uh, ATP uh, tournament in Rome, we connected over 10,000 uh, users all over the world. Uh, in ATP Finance in, in Turin, uh, it was the very first event we made the last November. It was the you know the the, the show out for for X Plus, and uh, we 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 gather a few thousands again. 
and basically the, the ambassadors are uh, several thousands also. Uh, you, you, you mentioned the word which is very nice and I like to share the, the philosophy behind that, the democracy, because Web, Web3, you know, is a new way of being democratic. Of course, there are items that are uh, put on auction or need to be paid, but there are also items that we normally um, uh, give as a giveaway. So basically, if you download for free that kind of NFT, for instance, we have the X plus card, which is a nice NFT representing the X plus, you take part, uh, you, you, you go into the action. So you can be drawn and win, you know, sometimes a memorabilia, sometimes an experience, sometimes a new NFT. And also we sometimes launch these lotteries, which are a great success. So you can literally buy an NFT for a few euros. Like sometimes we also launch for one euro or five euros or 10 euros, depending on the item and what we, we want to, to promote. And then you can be drawn also to win you know, unique experiences like, you know, uh, swimming one hour with Gregorio Paltrinieri, which is one of our ambassadors, or playing tennis with uh, Flavia Pennetta. So something which you, you cannot afford, nobody can afford, if uh, not through the, the relationship that X Plus has uh, built over uh, this time uh, with, with uh, its ambassadors. And we don't know, you may also invest in a, a very uh, early stage NFT uh, champion who over the time become a real, an athlete who become a champion and, and that uh, might might help you increase your, your investment wealth. Oh, I don't know. But uh, it, it was a fascinating, uh, uh, you know, uh, debate. Uh, thank you so much. It was uh, Gabriele. Uh, Vedani, CEO of X Plus, uh, thank you very much for being with us at One Startup World. We look forward to see the growth of this co company. You know, it will go by the 10K every, every single time you have an event for sure. It is going to expand uh, massively. So thank you so much. Hope to see you in February. And uh, I will, uh, thank you again. Thank you, Stefan. You've been too kind to me. Thank you very much to everybody for watching us. Bye.